Question number four now about is about divisibility. <clears throat> and uh, let's let's first off understand what they're saying. M is divisible by three and five. What does that mean? That means if you take M, I'm gonna do M over here on the side. That means three and five divide into it, right? Three and five divide into it evenly, but, and, and maybe some other stuff. We don't know. And maybe other stuff. All they're telling us about M is that three and five go in. Maybe seven goes in also. Maybe two threes go in. Maybe uh, eight fives go in. I have no idea. All I know for sure is that M, that three and five go in. That'd be like if I told you my friend M, he has a quarter and a dime. He might also have some dollar bills and pennies. You know, I'm just not telling you about that. I'm just telling you he has a three and he has a five. He definitely has those. He might have some other stuff. Also, we're just not getting into that. All we're saying is he has a three and a five. Does that make sense? I want you to be clear on what's being said and what's not being said. How about, how about when it comes to N? It's the same kind of thing, right? N is divisible by five and two. Five and two. Divide into it, and maybe some other stuff also. We just don't know. They're just not telling us if anything else divides into N, but they're saying for sure five and two. That'd be like if I said my friend N, he's got a five and he's got a two. He might have a bunch of fives. He might have a bunch of twos. He might have a three and a seven and an 11. Who knows? But I'm telling you for sure he's got a five and for sure he's got a two, right? He's got a five and a two for sure. Okay, so we'll keep that in mind as we get back to the uh, answering the real question. Now they're asking me about M in. What does that mean? Well, M in means M times in, right? If you put, if you put no symbol between M and N like that, no symbol, that means they're multiplied. You know that. So that means M times N. So if you put M and N together, if you multiply them together, what does that mean? Well, that means that grabbing this right here, three and five have to go in, don't they? Three and five for sure go in. And then grabbing from this and five and two all that stuff divide all those items divide into it and maybe other stuff also all right are you tracking with me is this making sense so it's just like if i told you hey my friend m has a three and a five my friend N has a five and a two. If they get together, what do they got together? Well, they got a three and a five, another five and a two, and maybe other stuff also, right? I, I'm not telling you about everything they have. I'm just saying for sure my friend M has a three and a five. My friend N has a five and a two. So putting their stuff together, we know for sure they have a three, two fives, and a two, and they might have other stuff also. All right. So now when we get to the questions, the different options here, the, the different options they're going to give us are going to be divides into or does not, right? Do, do I have the right words? I'm pretty sure those are the exact words that they give you there. Let me double check them, make sure. Yeah, oh, is divisible by is not divisible by. Okay. Is divisible by is not divisible by. So. is divisible by or is not divisible by. 
Well, and the, and the third one is may or may not be, right? Isn't that what it says? I already forgot. Okay. Yeah, might or might not. I'll just write might, might not be divisible by. Okay. Those are the three options. Well, let's try the first one here. What about what about this? first guy right up here. So divisible by nine. Well, is, is it when M and N get together, are they together divisible by nine? Well, it's all about knowing what's in a nine. If you break nine down to his primes, his building blocks, nine is made out of three times three, isn't it? Do you see that? Nine is made out of three times three. Those are the building blocks of a nine, three times three. And so when they ask us if, um, if M and N together are divisible by nine, they're really asking us, do you have two threes? Well, let's, let's take a look down here at our list. Right? We already said down here, that M and N together, right? My friend M has a three and a five. My friend N has a five and a two. So when they get together, they have a single three for sure, two fives for sure, and a two. And then maybe some other stuff also, I don't know. But I know for sure they have a three and a five, a five and a two. So do I know for sure that they have two threes? Do I know that for sure? No, I only, I only know for sure they have one three. They might have another, I just don't know. So the answer to this question, this first one here, is going to be might or might not. Does that make sense? They might or might not. Because my friend M and N together have a three and a five and a five and a two. So do they have two threes, which is what a nine really is? Well, I've only got one three for sure. They might have it down here. I don't know. It's a might. All right, I'm going to move on. Stop me if you have questions. Let's try the next one. What if we um, look at the 15? That's three times five, right? That's what makes a 15. That's the guts of a 15, three times five. So the question is, do we have a three and a five? In the M in getting together combo, do we have a three and a five? Well, we look down here and we go, yeah, for sure, right there. Yeah, we got a three and a five for sure. So that one is is divisible. Yeah, for sure, we've got that stuff. So that's what divisibility means. If you've got the prime pieces, then you're divisible. All right, let's try the next one. 25. So what's in a 25? Five times five, right? So the question is, is five times five gonna divide in to M times N? Well, let's see. Do we have the stuff down here? We have a three and a five and a five and a two, right? And my friend M and my friend N getting together, they bring a three and a five and a five and a two and maybe some other stuff also. I don't know for sure, but I know for sure they've got a three and a five and a five and a two. So do they have two fives? They do for sure, don't they, right here. So that's another yes, is divisible. They have the two fives for sure. They have what we need there, absolutely. All right, now the last one, 75, is a little tricky. If you break 75 down, again, notice how I'm breaking 
all these numbers down to their prime pieces, aren't I? I just keep breaking them apart to their little bitty prime numbers. So what's in a 75? Three times 25, right? Uh, three, you can use your calculator, of course. Three quarters, we know money, right? So three quarters make 75 cents. And then the 25 breaks down to be five times five. So 75 is three times five times five. That's the prime breakdown. Those are the prime building blocks of a 75. A 75 is made out of a three and two fives. So the question is, can a three and two fives divide in to my M in combo? Well, what's in M and N? A three and a five and a five and a two. A three and a five and a five and a two. So do we have a three and two fives? Yes, for sure. We have a three and two fives for sure. So that one is divisible. And so we're done with that question. So the only one that came out might or might not was this first one right? Because we didn't know if we had two threes. We only had one three, two fives and a two. We might have another three down here. We don't know. There might be more stuff, but we don't know for sure. So that was a might. Questions I can answer on this one. So Go ahead. Oh, sorry. Um, I was going to just say, so for, for mine, uh, I'm given um, MN, then the little bar, by uh, my, or by uh, 1573, and then my numbers are, third, for M is 13 and 11, and then for N is 11 and 5. So how would I be able to find um, whether it might or might not be divisible by like a big number like it does in the thousands? Yeah, well, it, it, it's really the same. It's the same thing for whatever numbers they give you. You just do the exact same process I'm doing right here. So, um, so I, um, yeah, so it would just be the same, the same exact process. Let, let me mention this. The, the answer is never going to be is not. You see how it's either going to be might or is. The is not they're just trying to fool you. You're never going to answer is not. Why not? Because there's no way that you, you can say it is not. There's no way. Why not? Because there might be other stuff. That'd be like if I told you, hey, my friend M has a three and a five, and my other friend N has a five and a two. Hey, do, when they get together, do they have a, do they have a seven? Well, I don't know. I, I, I I, did, I, I, I don't know what else they have, right? When I told you my friend M has a three and a five in his pocket, that doesn't mean he, that's all he has, right? I didn't say that's all he has. He only has three and five in his pocket. I just said he has a three and a five in his pocket. He might have some, uh, some other stuff also. He might have a seven and an 11, who knows? So do you see how we're never going to say is not because we don't know what they don't have. They're not really telling us in this problem what they don't have. They're only telling us what they do have. So our answers are going to be, yeah, they definitely have that. Or I don't know. I don't, I, they might, they don't have it right now. I don't see it right now, but they, but they might. So that's how that works. It's always going to be like that. So, um, so let me, let me try. So, so Martine, you mentioned, what was your numbers? M is divisible. N is divisible. Um, so for my for M, I have thirteen and eleven, and then for N, it is eleven and five. Eleven and five. Mm -hmm. and, and then they ask you. Um, <laughs> and then N, M, and N, and then it has a little option bar, and then by one five seven three. I'm sorry. One five what? Seven three. One five seven three. Yes, sir. Yeah, so it's so, and then, yeah, so we would just say, oh. Okay. Sorry, I meant, I meant 1,573. Oh, okay, one, 1,000, oh, you did get a big number, 1,573. And what were the uh, other three numbers? 
Um, so the first one was 25, the second one was 55, and then the third one was 65. 25, 55, go ahead. And then 65. And what was, wasn't there a fourth? The fourth one was the 1,573. Okay, yeah, the big number, yeah, good. Yeah, good question. So you're gonna have to just break these down. So the 25 is five times five. And so when M and N get together, so we'll go over here and go, what's M and N together? 13, 11, 11. So they're gonna have a 13, 11, and an 11 and a five. And maybe other stuff, right? Because they're not telling us what they don't have. They're only telling us what they do have. Okay, so do they have two fives? They might. We're, we're only seeing one five right? We're not seeing two. We're only seeing one five over here. So do they have two fives? We don't know. They might have more stuff. We, we don't see it right now. We don't see two fives right now. So we'll just say they might. How about uh, 55, breaking down 55? That's five times 11. <clears throat> so the question is, do they have a five and 11? Yeah, for sure. There's a five and 11. So that one's a yes for sure on that one. So we're good there. All right, and now, how about for the 65, if you break that down in your calculator, isn't that five times 13? Yeah, five times 13. So do they have a five and a 13? Yes, for sure, five and 13, all right. Um, good, now for the one that Martin was actually asking about, I just wanted to go through those also. Yeah, he's got a good question. This is a whopper. So what do you got to do? You got to break that thing down. Just like we broke down the 25 and the 55 and the 65, we got to break that down and, and, um, and use your calculator. I have no idea. Let me see. Um, I'm just going to try dividing by different numbers. I, I divided by 3, 5, 7. I don't see anything that's going in. 11. Oh, there it is. I got lucky. 11 times 143. So I broke it down 11 times 143. And then I and then I divided by 11 again, and it's 11 times 13. That is a weird number. So that means, and, and it can't go any further, right? Because those those are the primes. That's as small as it gets. So 1153. I'm sorry, 1573. I'm making up numbers here. 1573 is 11 times 11 times 13, isn't it? Do you see? I figured that out. Uh, I'm not done with the problem yet, but I, I just used my calculator and I just I took 1573 and I just tried dividing by two, three, five, seven, eleven, and then I got got it. It went in evenly at eleven, and then I took the one. Then I took the 143. Right. Once I had that idea, I'll write it over here. I took the 143 and I started at eleven, and that went in again. So. I, and, and we know those are primes, right? You can't break down 13 anymore. I mean, all you can do is write one times 13. That's, that's not making it any smaller. So we don't bother with that. So these are prime numbers. They've, they've reached the ground. They, they can't go down anymore. So there's the breakdown. There's the prime factorization of the 1573. It's 11 times 11 times 13. So the question then to us is, will 11, 11, and 13 go into this stuff? Yeah, we've got 11, 11, and 13, don't we? So that one's a definite yes, we have all that stuff. So good question. That was a harder one. And there we go.